We're in Montreal Milan today for the launch of the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution MR. The GSR is already on sale, and the MR will make its way into dealerships pretty soon. There's a few differences between the two models. Notably, the MR has Mitsubishi's new twin clutch SST automated gearbox with paddle shifters. Let's take her for a ride. The new twin clutch transmission allows for lightning quick shifts and is absolutely great on a racetrack where all you have to do is hold on the steering wheel with both hands and tap the paddle shifters. The left one downshifts while the right one upshifts. We just wish the paddles would turn along with the steering wheel. Or you can also leave the transmission in D position and choose the S Sport shift mapping setting. The latter keeps the engine in full boil and really punches it to the red line for maximum acceleration out of curves and on the straight portions of the track. The engine under the hood of the Evolution MR is the same as in the 5-speed GSR, a turbocharged and intercooled 2-liter inline 4 that produces 291 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque. It offers a generous amount of muscle at just about any rev range. What's also interesting is the fact that we can easily control the engine's torque distribution with the differential by simply flipping a three-mode switch, tarmac for dry road conditions like today, gravel which can also be used in the rain and distributes torque differently, and finally snow which obviously allows for maximum traction in snowy or icy conditions. SAWC is what Mitsubishi calls its all-wheel drive system, which includes a computer that constantly monitors the car's movement and path of travel and reacts accordingly. On the wet skid pad, the Evo MR was unflappable and never lost grip no matter how hard we tried to break loose the car's rear end. The SAWC system clearly improves the dynamic performance of the car. It controls the brakes and torque to the wheels in order to optimize adherence. It offers a high level of performance whatever the road condition. On the track where brakes usually take a beating and can make a big difference in lap times, the Evo's powerful Brembo ventilated discs proved fade free and up to the task at quickly slowing down the car before entering the apexes. Mechanically, the Evolution MR also differs from the GSR with its BBS alloy wheels and upgraded front brakes. Visually, the MR gets a larger rear wing, xenon headlights, chrome surrounding in its front grille, and painted front fender and hood air ducts. Inside, the Recaro seats hold the driver and front passenger firmly in place, and the MR seats get heaters and additional leather patchwork. The car benefits from an excellent driving position, although the tilt steering wheel doesn't telescope. The Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution MR starts at $47,498, or $6,000 more than the price of a base GSR. A $4,000 premium package can also be added, which includes an upgraded sound system with navigation and Bluetooth connectivity, as well as a sunroof. The Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution MR is quite a machine. It will please both the experienced and the less experienced drivers by its handling capabilities, its sheer presence, and its new twin clutch transmission. Mitsubishi expects to sell 600 copies of the Evo in Canada every year, and that's a figure they'll probably easily reach. <laughs>